At Second Swing Golf, we were fortunate enough to head out to the Titleist Performance Institute in Oceanside, California to get a preview of the 718 and 818 clubs coming out from Titleist on September 30th. As you can see, they have a plethora of offerings with shafts and all the heads pre-built here at their Titleist Performance Institute. I was fortunate enough to get a fitting from Glenn Mather at Titleist on the 718 and 818 products and we're talking about what he's looking for in that fitting process and after some warm-up we hit a few shots and started to look at the data to see what was going on with my tendencies with my existing setup and then fine-tuning that in a fitting these are similar things that you can see at second swing golf in your fitting in our tour van facility after changing and tweaking the setups we hit some more shots really trying to dial in on which model of the 718 would be you know right for me and again at second swing golf you know working with a master fitter to find that right uh, set makeup that right model you know with the 718 having you know six different heads available it really is an important element to get fit properly taking a look at the data and seeing you know what clubs with what shafts are right for you after the fitting, we had the opportunity to go through the Titleist uh, Production Center to take a look at how all of the golf clubs are built. It's an impressive facility with a lot of different cells building clubs. Here you can see something that you're able to do through Wedgeworks, and that's stamping of any wedge that you order from Titleist. You have the opportunity to add characters, and they'll stamp them right there on site for you. And when you receive your clubs, they're as they are stamped. At the production tour, you know, we were able to follow golf clubs being built. And here you're taking a look at one of the hybrids, you know, being built and having its head set up, matching with the shaft so they've got all the right selection. So when they're building your club through a custom order that you do a second swing, uh, you, they know that they're getting all the right inventory and all the right pieces in place. You can see here they're just doing a little epoxy to set up to get that uh, SureFit ad uh, adapter on there. Uh, and the neat thing about Titleist too is they actually put the adapter in the position uh, that you have uh, set up with your fitter in the fitting. They put the serial number on the heads and the shafts of the clubs from a warranty perspective just to make sure that everything's accurate. They laser engrave them in there and they do that at the time of the club being built. The neat thing there too you're seeing is you know that you have your your torque wrench that you comes with the clubs they actually have devices to wrench the club head and the shaft together. Titleist like a lot of others take a lot of pride in you know every element of the club and they make sure that all the grips are done perfectly. They, you can't see here but there's actually a laser to make sure that everything is accurate and you'll see later on how precise they get with their grips just to ensure that they are accurately put on the clubs. Here just making sure that the club is kind of in that final stages getting put away for that final element to be boxed up and to be shipped out. Now Titleist has really come a long way in that they are working to get all of the custom orders built for in-stock items out within a two business day period. Meaning, you know, if you're ordering your clubs from Second Swing Golf uh, and they have all the components in stock at Titleist, you can expect that to be built at their facility within two days. We then were able to go into the, the tour uh, pod of building clubs as they were starting to build out some of the 818 products for um, they're touring professionals um, that have had the equipment out in their prototypes since early July. You can see here they take a lot of pride in all the swing weights, making sure that they're getting everything accurate for you and they have all these uh, weights to ensure that you get to the exact swing weight as you are fit to. So it's an important thing to bring up with your fitter is what swing weight would be right for you. Here you're taking a look at how they're doing their loft and lie. They actually have a mold of every club head uh, for every loft to ensure that you're getting the perfect fit 
and the lie angle. They want to make sure that everything is accurate when it's going out the door. Again, gripping in the key element, they get those grips on their right. Uh, whether you've got one um, wrap of tape or two or three, they make sure to get it right for you. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where they're actually looking to see how accurate the grip is actually put on the club. Now this particular grip was uh, 1.6 degrees open, so even though it, it looks good, it actually wasn't within their tolerances and they redid it. Here they're doing some swing weight validations, making sure that everything is actually to the tenth position on the swing weight to make sure that it's accurate. You know, some of those fine touches that you see from Titleist is making sure that every product that goes out their door is accurate for their customers. As always, they clean those clubs up, making sure that they are spick and span for you when, once you get them out of the box. Kind of the last step, as seen in the woods, is just putting that laser uh, serial number on those clubs. All this goes into their database to ensure that it's accurately uh, tracked and if there's ever any questions you can you can call Titleist and ask them about that. Kind of the, one of the neat things too is you know Titleist was kind enough to build us a set from what we were fit and this is no different than what you can expect at Second Swing. When you do a tour van fitting from us you're going to get your clubs in a timely fashion and you're going to be able to get out there and play with your new Titleist club.